सो हेलो एवरीबडी टूडेज लेसन इज द फोर्थ एंड द फाइनल ऑफ बेसिस ऑफ क्लासीफिकेशन एंड इट्स पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स ऑन ओवर व्यू ऑफ एनिमल क्लासीफिकेशन इट्स प्रजेंटेड बाई मी इफ्तार खान एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो इट्स अबाउट मी यू कैन फॉलो मी एट अन अकेडमी डॉट इन स्लैश यूज स्लैश इफ्तार खान सो विल टॉक अबाउट द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम टूडे सो सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इज बेसिकली द सिस्टम ऑफ द बॉडी विच इज मेंट टू फुलफिल all the requirements of body fluid it basically circulates a uh, body fluid through it which helps in uh, exchange of gases uh, uh, from the cells uh, it provides the nutrients and other and it also removes the uh, waste products or the harmful materials from the cells so it can be of two types it can be either closed or it can be open so firstly we'll talk about the closed one as uh, as a norm closed is supposed to be the more developed one because in this case obviously heart is also present in the open one and but uh, the blood vessels the capillaries are also present so in uh, like in the open one only the larger blood vessels like arteries or veins are present in this case the capillaries are also present and uh, the blood isn't in a direct contact with the tissues as such it flows through the capillaries and uh, then uh, the cells uh, diffuse their material through it and the efficiency is more as compared to the open one and uh, it can be more regulated by the heart it can be uh, like more precisely regulated and the bp is more as compared to the open one which we'll talk about later and it's also faster as compared to the open one the examples are the phylum annelida the chordata and the cephalopoda that is the basically uh, uh, some of the protochordates so then we have the open circulation in in this case also as i told you the heart is present but the blood vessels the capillaries are uh, capillaries and venules are absent only arteries and veins are present and the blood is in direct contact with the tissues and efficiency is less and also the bp is less and it's slower as compared to the closed one and the examples being arthropoda and mollusca as such then we have hemocele in arthropods and mollusc uh, the body cavity is filled with blood and uh, we have a fluid called hemolymph this cavity is called the hemocele so in arthropods and mollusc uh, the body cavity is hemocele and it's filled with a uh, blood or hemolymph uh, which is which is the he- uh, body fluid which is called hemolymph and the cavity is called hemocele the true body cavity is confined only to gonads in the rest of the body it is hemocele only cytosylom is confined only to the gonads then we talk about a notochord notochord is basically a solid rod like mesodermal structure so it differentiates uh, the organisms in chordates and non chordates so this is a mesodermal structure uh, in the chordates uh, uh, there are two types there are chordates and the non chordates so chordates uh, can be two types invertebrates or vertebrates in vertebrates in the sense that uh, the notochord is persistent and it's not replaced by the vertebral column so all the protochordates uh, like cephalochordate urochordates uh, these are involved in the invertebrates as such while the vertebrates uh, have u chordates uh, like the fishes uh, the amphibians like frogs like the reptiles the snakes crocodiles the birds and of course the mammals in non chordates all the phyla we are going to discuss from porifera to till the hemichordates are included in the non chordates so u chordata yes notochord means the notochord is present non u chordata no notochord is present a uh, vertebrata uh, the notochord is converted to the vertebral column as i told you and in vertebrates the notochord remains as such it's not converted to the vertebral column uh then we'll talk about a parity uh so it's basically uh, then how the next ge- generation offspring of any organism is formed 
This is the process by which the next generation is formed by an organism. It can be oviparous, a viviparous, or ovoviviparous. So oviparous are the ones which lay eggs. The example being fishes, uh, the amphibians are the frogs, etc. Then we have the reptiles and the birds. Reptiles including uh, uh, the snakes mostly. Then we have the viviparous. Which means uh, they give birth to the young one. OV always means egg. So they uh, lay eggs. So uh, mammals are the best example of this case. And then we have ovoviviparous. In this case, during the embryonic development, there is no placental connection between the mother and the fetus. However, uh, the egg is not uh, like a hard egg or, a, or an egg is not formed. Uh, directly uh, lesser developed uh, version of the adult is formed so example being the sharks and scorpions so uh, that's it for this lecture guys thanks for watching uh, soon after this I'll be uh, bringing you all the phyla one by one uh, in an order okay thanks for watching